my viewers. Power hitting. I will explain you how to play this shot. What is clearing the leg? Watch the ball. Clear your leg. Ah. Watch the ball. Yes, that connected well. Oh. It is over. Before going to the video, please subscribe and click the bell icon for more updates. Hi viewers, welcome back to Boys of View Cricket Academy. Today after a long gap I am uh, practicing myself as well as I am plan to put a video uh, about how to uh, develop your hard hitting ability. So if you are playing T20 matches, this will help you to smash the balls outside the park. So I'll, I'll explain some uh, tricks and uh, some workouts to develop the shot. Please watch the video fully. And if you like this video, subscribe. If you have any, any doubt regarding the video and all, comment below. Um, this is my plan today. So what I'm going to do is like I'm going to jog some few rounds and uh, do some push-ups and some uh, kettlebell workouts. So. Why? Because after a long time I am playing, so I need to activate myself, otherwise I can't explain, uh, w execute the drill what I am going to do. So I have to activate myself, some jogs, some push-ups and some kettlebell workouts, some medicine ball throws. So please do watch. Very very important thing is like always hydrate yourself, drink lot of water and change of t-shirt. So whenever you do workouts, if your t-shirt is fully sweat, change your t-shirt because that sweat t-shirt will give you lot of back pain, reason for uh, stiffness and all. So change of t-shirt, that's very important. Power hitting, everyone like to smash the ball outside the park. I'll explain you how to play this shot. Okay? Number one, watching the ball. In any shot in cricket, you must watch the ball properly till the end. Okay? Number two, have a solid balance. If you doesn't have a proper balance, you can't execute that shot. You must need a balance. If you if you doesn't have a balance, what will happen? You'll the power will get reduced, you can't connect the ball properly okay so you are set up and clear your leg very important because if you clear your leg from the stems line you can able to hit, hit this huge area you can able to swing the bat nicely okay while you are clearing your leg get the back lift nice okay have a solid back lift from there and connecting point okay always keep your eyes on your connecting point while connecting keep your eyes on it keep your eyes on it very important transferring your weight okay while playing the shot transfer your weight that back leg transferring transfer your weight 
So you'll get a good balance here. You can whack the ball outside the park. Okay. In this technique, not only you can clear leg side, you can able to clear straight as well as you can clear to over covers or in between. You can play a slash to the point. Okay. So the ball is just short of length or short ball. Clear your leg. Swing. Keep your head on the connecting point. The ball will go outside the park. Suppose you are clearing the leg. The ball was fuller. You can pick it like that over the bowler for boundary. Suppose in the same you are clearing the leg. The bowler is bowling outside off stamp. You can cut it or you can pick it like that. Suppose if it's in Yorker length, you can guide the ball over there. What is clearing the leg? Okay, a lot of people will get confused what is clearing the leg. So if your guard is on leg stem line, you are in leg stem, opening your leg like that, so creating a room over here. Okay, that is clearing a leg. So watch, this is a way of approach. When the ball is point of release, open your leg, get there nicely. So let's see the side on view. Your foot open, head going into the ball, staying in a solid base. Uh, what I am going to do is uh, using old balls, underarm feeding, so going to hit the ball over there. Uh, my aim is, I am keeping my aim is too far, that coconut trees. Yeah, ready. Watch the ball, clear your leg. Ah. No, even more. Proper timing. Watch the ball. Keep your head down the connecting point. Watch the ball. I thought I'll get up a little bit. Keep your eyes on the connecting point. Keep your leg. Yes, that connected well. the ball I am changing the bat I'm changing my well seasoned bat let me see it's a little bit lightweighter again doing the same drill watch the ball whoa that's well connected look at the good transfer of weight I felt there I felt my lower body nicely the ball. The ball is a little bit bouncy. So if it's up, you can play a little bit square also. It's the ball. Head. Focus putting your head into the ball. Oh wow! That's a big shot. Sure, some 90 meters. Ready? Watch the ball. Yeah! Beautiful pick. Watch the ball and clear your leg. Not middled it properly, but still went the distance I feel because of the bad flow. Watch the ball. Look at the weight transferring into the ball. Bring your head into the ball. The ball is a little bit bouncy. It's when it came here, I picked it this way. Watch the ball. It's very low. 
actual pit. So always a gap, mid wicket and long on. In between mid wicket and long on. Try to hit the ball in between mid wicket and long on. Boys, rapid fire, da. I'm because of that running and workout, I feel a little bit strong today. Because I'm playing after a long time. So now I'm going to the rapid fire. He's going to feed the ball again and again. Watch the ball, watch the ball. Yeah. No way. Stop. See, while doing rapid fire, I'm losing my balance. The second set, I'm going to focus keeping my balance right. Keeping, clearing the leg and getting that balance position right. Yeah. Oh. There. There. Getting better. Getting better ball by ball. I open my leg, I clear my leg, I created a good room, the ball is outside of him, I can pick it like that, I created a room, yes I can pick it, to go over the point fielder or the cover fielder, clear leg, what's the connecting point? Suppose, suppose while clearing the leg, the ball is too fuller. You can place the ball here to this direction. Leg. Sure. Just open a leg. Sit over. Even you can make it along the ground. You can make it along the ground. make it along the ground so you clear the leg you can make it along the ground suppose if the ball is fuller in your leg this you can place it to third man leg and place it to third man So if the ball is straight, pick it over. The ball is just short of length. You can open your leg and pick it over mid wicket. The ball is fuller length. You can hit it over. That's how I'm going to explain now. Clear your leg. Hit it over. That went into the distance. Clear your leg. Ah, hit it over. Straight. Clean straight. Hit it clean straight. Open your leg. Yeah. That's big. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this power hitting sessions. Even I enjoyed a lot because I hit the ball further and further. A uh, little more, uh, if my body is supported means I can hit further. Uh, so you can develop this shot by keeping a cone in a, as a target. Keep a target, reach it and try to increase the distance. Uh, 80 meters, 90 meters. If, uh, if you are a basic kid, you can start from 40 meters, 50 meters, 60 meters. Keep hitting distance. You can't achieve it in one day. 
uh, have a target. I have to develop this 50 meters into 60 meters in, in next month. Like that, keep a target and keep achieving it. Um, so, especially if you are working over the bowler, use soft balls. Uh, if you use soft balls, your feeder won't get hurt. Keep using soft ball to hit it further. And if you have, if you have always when you are practicing power hitting and all, so keep your environment safe because you, when you are hitting, some people will cross, they'll get hurt. So whenever you practice, keep that environment safe. Common mistake while playing this shot. First common mistake is not watching the ball. You know how to play this shot, but if you doesn't watch the ball, you will execute it very badly. You will get bowled because you are give, opening your legs. So there is a lot of chance bowler can bowl to your stems. So there is a lot of chance of getting bowled if you open your leg. And another key, another common mistake is hitting over. Uh, try to generate power with your hands. Very important point is flow, not the power of your hands. So in power hitting, you need a good flow rather than hitting the ball over. So suppose you have to connect the ball at here, you, are, you try to give a lot of power, what will happen? You will miss the timing. So timing and middling is very important rather than over hitting the ball. And the third common mistake is hitting the ball in the wrong direction. Suppose if the ball is far away from you, rather than hitting offside, trying to hit it towards leg side. That's a big common mistake people used to do. What will happen? They'll end up, the ball will hit the bottom of the bat and they'll end up caught in mid wicket and all. I hope you learned something from uh, this video. Um, if you want to develop this shot, keep practicing more. And uh, if you have any doubt, comment below and enjoy cricket. Thank you for watching.